Fancy Vicky and Sandy Funny new things to do You will have fun with Vicky and Sandy Here to entertain you So we are back to give you more fun craft activities and games every Saturday throughout this lockdown. Isn't that right, Sandy? So we're, as usual, going to do a craft activity followed by a game, which today, Sandy, is a quiz. And finishing with a story. So we hope you enjoy and we shall see you in the next video. See you then. Hello, you are through to our craft activity video. And we're going to kick off doing, making a new year resolution star hanger. So you should have your cloud star and new year's resolution and three more stars printed off and you may want to pause the video and cut them all out and colour the stars in so yes, we've already done ours haven't we Sandy so we should I'll just show you before you pause the video what we've done. So we've coloured in this one and we went round to the edge with an orange pen didn't we Sandy? That's to go at the top of the cloud and then you can just colour the, the others in just yellow. Okay and write the numbers two, zero, two, one which is 2021 so you can colour those in and cut them out but don't colour this in because we're going to put some cotton wool on it right so if we start Sandy by gluing the top of the star on top of the cloud Alright, so we've got this one that says I will. So I'm going to put a bit of glue in here, this bit, and stick it at the top. I've got to make sure that it's the right way. So it's those two. Like that. And then we're going to stick that there, Sandy. Gonna push it down for me. That's it. Well done. And then we've got that there. So then we can start sticking cotton wool all over the cloud. So we need lots and lots of glue all over the cloud, don't we, Sandy? Sandy, we do, don't we? You daydreaming. You should be paying attention to what we're doing, Sandy. Are you tired? You shouldn't be tired. We've had a break. Do you want to tell the children what you got from Santa for Christmas? Do you remember what you got? Do you want to whisper? You did. You got your bone that you wanted. And what colour was your bone? A yellow one. Wow. Oh, we need a bit more glue on there, don't we? Not, I'm not paying attention now, Sandy. <laughs> you can tell me off if you want, Sandy. <laughs> all right, so you need to cover your cloud all over with glue. And you've got some cotton wool. And we want to stretch it out as much as you can. Just like that. Okay. 
if you haven't got cotton wool then don't worry too much you can just leave it white we're just going to cover it all over aren't we sandy so what else did you get sandy i think did you get some treats as well some tasty treats and did you get a squeaky toy too or did you get a ball you got a ball and a squeaky toy wow what's that what did i get let me think what did i get you know sandy i can't remember um what did i get so what did i get i got some slippers i got some bubble bath i got some harry potter stuff because i'm a real harry potter fan um but i don't think my stuff is as fun as your stuff sandy is it so that's our cloud done and that's what it should look like and we're going to stick this on here so on top of the cotton wool so we need some more glue don't we sandy so it that it will stick and push it down like so it should be like that right so now the interesting part begins because you should have coloured your stars in and on the back you should write what New Year's resolutions you're going to keep. So we had to think about ours, didn't we, Sandy? So we've done do my homework on number two. And we did keep my room tidy. That's a zero. And help mummy and daddy. And what's that one? Not watch too much TV. Okay, so you can pause the video and have a little think of what you want your New Year's resolutions to be. But there's some ideas for you if you can't think of anything. So now. You should have some ribbon. If you haven't got ribbon, then some string will do. So you've got should have four pieces, two long ones and two shorter ones. And we're going to do going to hang the star, stick the ribbon on the back at the top, and stick it onto your cloud so it's like a, a mobile star cloud so what we'll do sandy is we'll stick should we have the first one on the long string or the short string which one sandy the short string right so if you want to put some glue on the back of at the top of that one and stick that down we'll do that because we don't want any glue on your nose do we because your nose will get stuck to the table right and we want to put maybe we'll put a little bit of glue on there sandy 
and you stick it behind. And it should hang like that. And then we're going to carry on. So we've got short one first and then we'll do the zero a long one so again we need to put some glue at the top and I'll do this again Sandy is that your tummy rumbling Sandy are you hungry right and a bit of glue again Going to get that. So we've done a short one, long one, short one. And do you remember, Sandy, is it a one or a two next after two zero two? So for twenty twenty one. Bit of glue. Stick it there, and then we want a bit of glue on there. And you can always also, if the glue is too much, you can also use some sellotape to stick it on at the back as well. And we've got the last one, which is here. glue there and that there and it's the last one isn't it Sandy oh, I put glue on the wrong bit turn it round and put the glue on and there we go Turn it round for you to see. We should have 2021. So they're all going in different directions. <laughs> there we go. So Sandy, where are you going to hang this? Where are you going to hang it? In your bedroom. So you can look at it and remember your New Year's resolutions. Okay, so we've finished our craft activity video and we hope you enjoyed it. Are you alright, Sandy? What? You want... Oh! Silly me! Thank you, Sandy. I forgot to put the string on so that we can hang it. Silly me. Thank you, Sandy. So if we turn it over... Some glue at the top. You may need mummy or daddy to come and help you with this bit. So you want to hook it over like this and then stick it where the glue is. Thank you, Sandy. And that is the end of the craft activity, is it? I've remembered everything. <laughs> so we should have it hanging like that. Right. So we shall see you in the next video. Hello, you are through to the quiz game video. And you should have printed off your quiz sheet. 15 questions. And I shall begin. So the first question is, what is the tenth letter in the alphabet? What is the tenth letter in the alphabet? Number two, which travels faster, light or sound? Which travels faster, light 
or sound. Number three, who wrote The Gruffalo, Room on the Broom and Tiddler? Who wrote The Gruffalo, Room on the Broom and Tiddler? Number four, what is the chemical formula of water? What is the chemical formula of water? Number five, do polar bears live in Arctic or Antarctic? Do polar bears live in Arctic or Antarctic? Number six, what's the tallest animal in the world? What's the tallest animal in the world? Number seven, how many horns does a triceratops? How many horns does a triceratops have? Number eight, the Grand Canyon is in which country? The Grand Canyon is in which country? Number nine. What type of dog is Marshall from Paw Patrol? What type of dog is Marshall from Paw Patrol? Number 10. What animal is on the Welsh flag? What animal is on the Welsh flag? Number 11. Who sings shotgun? Who sings Shotgun. Number 12. How many different words are there in the baby shark song? How many different words are there in the baby shark song? So you need to give that one a bit of a think and maybe sing it out loud at home to count, as, count the words. Number 13. Which country was due to host the Olympics in 2020? Which country was due to host the Olympics in 2020? Number 14. What is the name of the zebra in Madagascar? What is the name of the zebra in Madagascar? And number 15, 
what's the name of Anna and Elsa's kingdom in Frozen? What's the name of Anna and Elsa's kingdom in Frozen? Okay, so that's the end of the quiz round and I will go through the answers now. So number one was what is the tenth letter in the alphabet? And it is J. Number two was which travels faster, light or sound? And it's light travels faster. Number three, who wrote the Gruffalo, Room on the Broom and Tiddler? And it was Julia Donaldson. Number four, what is the chemical formula of water? And it's H2O. Number five, do polar bears live in Arctic or Antarctic? And the answer is they live in Arctic. Number six, what's the tallest animal in the world? And it's a giraffe, because they have their very long necks, don't they? Number seven, how many horns does a triceratops have? And the answer is three. Number nine, the Grand Canyon is in which country? And it's in America, the USA. Number nine, what type of dog is Marshall from Paw Patrol? Which is a Dalmatian. Number 10, what animal is on the Welsh flag? And it's a dragon. Number 11, who sings Shotgun? And it's George Ezra. Uh, number 12, which must have taken some time to try and work out, was how many different words are there in Baby Shark Song? And there are 18 different words in the Baby Shark Song. So well done if you managed to get that right. A bit of maths there. Number 13. Which country was due to host the Olympics in 2020? And it was Japan. Number 14. What is the name of the zebra in Madagascar? And it's Melvin. And number 15. What's the name of Anna and Elsa's kingdom in Frozen? And it was Arendelle. So count up how many you got right on your quiz sheet and you can put the total down there. And that's the end of our quiz game. So I shall see you in the next video. Well, you are through to our story time video and I think Sandy has fallen asleep. So I think we need to wake him up. Sandy? 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 Do you want to listen to the story? Are you okay? He fell asleep. Do you want to listen to the story? Okay, so today's story is Little Bear's Trousers by Jane Hissy. And we will read the story first and then we'll show you the pictures. So, the sun shone through the window and woke Little Bear. What a lovely morning, he said to himself. I'll do something different today. And there's Little Bear. Okay. 
He jumped down from the bed, took off his pyjamas and looked for his trousers. He looked on the chair where he'd left them and he looked on the floor under the chair. And then he looked through the chest of drawers in case they were there. But they weren't. They were nowhere. But they must be somewhere, said Little Bear. Trousers don't just disappear. I'll go and ask Old Bear. He'll know where they are. There's Little Bear on the chair there looking for his trousers. Old Bear was already enjoying the sun in his deck chair. I haven't seen your trousers, I'm afraid, he said. But Camel was around here earlier. Perhaps she knows where they are. Wouldn't it be nice to be in a deck chair right now, Sandy? Somewhere on a beach in the hot weather. Oh dear, said Camel when Little Bear found her a few minutes later. I did find them. I thought they were a pair of hump warmers and I tried them on to see if they fitted me. They did keep my humps quite warm but the air came down from down the top so I decided these were better. And she showed Little Bear two very smart bubble hats, one for each hump. I gave the old hump warmers to Sailor to use the sails for his boat. Jump on my back and let's see if we can find him. Little Bear scrambled up and they galloped off in the direction of the bathroom. You see Camel's got two hats on her back from her humps. Oh look Sandy. There's Little Bear, Camel and Sailor in the boat. Look at all those pictures. Sailor was looking after the boats and ducks in the bathroom. I did use them as sails, he said, but they look too much like trousers. That's because they are trousers, said Little Bear crossly. Where are they now? I gave them to Dog to keep his bones in, said Sailor. Would you keep your bones in some trousers, Sandy? No, because they might fall out. Sorry, little bear. We'd better hurry. He might be anywhere by now. And there's little bear and sailor. Dog was happily burying his bones in flower pots when little bear found him. My bones kept falling through the two bone bone holder, he said. Two bone bone holder? That's something new, isn't it, Sandy? Cried little bear in dismay. Oh, dog, can't you recognise trousers when you see them? Oh dear, said dog. I do feel silly. I gave them to rabbit. He said he needed a ski and hat, and your trousers look just perfect. I am sorry. Look, Sandy, he's got his bones in the pots. He hasn't got a yellow bone. Can you see the bones in the pot? Oh, look. Shall we show them the picture first? Rabbit is skiing down the side of the stairs. 
do you think he's going to fall off? I wonder. Whee! cried Rabbit as he shot past Little Bear a few minutes later, skiing down the banister on two lolly stick skis. Do you think that's very sensible, Sandy? No. Because he might hurt himself, mightn't he? He didn't have Little Bear's trousers on his head now. But I did have them earlier, he explained when Little Bear caught up with him. They made a lovely rabbit hat with plenty of room for my ears, but they slipped over my eyes and I crashed, so I decided it was safer without them. I gave them to Sevra to carry her building bricks in. Oh dear, poor Little Bear's trousers. Sandy, some bricks and some pencils. Shall we show the children the picture first? Zebra standing on bricks and he's got pencils. I think, do you think that could be used as a roof, Sandy? I wonder. I wonder what Zebra's doing. Zebra was building herself a house when Little Bear arrived, but his trousers were nowhere to be seen. I wondered whose they were, she said. They were terribly useful. I tied up the legs with string, put them on my back and carried all these bricks here to in them. But when I had enough bricks for my house, I gave them to Duck to use as a flag for his sandcastle. I am sorry, Little Bear. I didn't know they belonged to you. Oh dear, poor Little Bear. Oh, look. You know what they are, don't you, Sandy? You see, they're sandcastles. We were just talking about being by the sea, didn't we? He's got shells on the castle as well. Duck was in the sand tray, looking sadly at the castle he'd made. There were no trouser, trouser flag on the top now. I did use the flag that Zebra gave me, he sighed, but Grandma Brown came and said it was just what he needed urgently in the kitchen. He gave me this paper flag to use instead. Never mind, said Little Bear with a sigh feeling quite glad that his trousers were not covered in sand. The kitchen was in a terrible muddle. There were bowls and spoons and eggs and flour, and in the middle of it all sat Bramwell Brown. Oh, oh dear Sandy. Oh, Bramwell Brown looks like he's using Little Bear's trousers to do icing on his cakes. Oh dear! He had Little Bear's trousers, but oh dear! He'd filled them with pink icing and was busy decorating a huge cake with them. It's a special occasion cake, said Bramwell, and you have to put icing on special occasion cakes. I thought I could do two stripes at once with these icing bags. But they're not icing bags. They are my trousers, sniffed Little Bear, trying hard not to cry. I thought I'd seen them before, said Bramwell Brown. Here's a picture from Bramwell's. Bramwell Brown has got these trousers. Don't worry, little bear, said old bear, who always arrived at the right moment. The icing will wash out and they'll look as good as new. What's the special occasion cake for? asked little bear, feeling a bit more cheerful at this news. Well, I didn't really know, said Bramwell. I just felt like making one. 
old bear thought hard. Perhaps it ought to be a trousers day cake, he suggested helpfully. So that's what Bramwell Brown wrote on the cake, twice. Once with the icing from the left trouser leg, and once with the icing from the right trouser leg. It said, Happy Trousers Day on, in the middle, and there was a trouser pattern all, all around the edge. Duck washed Little Bear's trousers and dried them next to the cooker. Then all the toys sat down to enjoy a piece of cake and to celebrate the day Little Bear lost and found his trousers. And they all sat there having their cake. And ever since Trousers Day, Little Bear has slept with his trousers under his pillow. Nobody will find them there, he says. And this is with there with his trousers. And that is the end of our story. So we shall see you in the next video. Hello, and we have reached the end of this week's session. So this was our first lockdown session of this year. And we said we would be back, didn't we, Sandy? So we are back next Saturday at 10 a.m. And just look out for the activity sheets to go up on my website for next week which is a special one next week so you want to keep an eye out for that is that it sandy nothing to add no right we will see you very soon next saturday see you then